Bake and Bake. So I got a ton of requests last week to do something jack-o'-lantern related. So I thought I'm going to make a Minecraft jack-o'-lantern cake in spirit for Halloween. So I already have my cake made um, and I made it in these little square pans and I am going to stack three of them. And you can use a pumpkin cake. I used a spice cake, which is really yummy. Um, so we're going to level out the cake so we can go ahead and stack them. So you're going to level out each layer of the cake by chopping off the top portion of the cake. If you don't have a cake leveler, I'll put a link in the description where you can get one. So now I'm gonna use some white frosting and I'm gonna place a little bit on the base where I have some foil so that the cake doesn't move anywhere. We're gonna place the cake right on top. Then we're gonna place frosting between each layer of the cakes and stack them until we have a perfect square. Once all layers are stacked, we're going to dirty ice the whole cake. Now that the whole cake is iced, Place it in the fridge and we're gonna prepare our fondant. So now I'm gonna dye a white piece of fondant with yellow and red oil-based dye to create a really light orange. So we're only going to use just a little bit of the red, so maybe that much. And we're gonna throw the stick away. Grab a new one and get some fresh yellow. So we're gonna put more yellow than the red. Now we're just gonna blend this all together and mix it evenly throughout the fondant and see what kind of yellow or orange we get. If the fondant gets too sticky, just add a little bit of powdered sugar. So once you have an orange that you're satisfied with, we're going to roll out our fondant very thin. Make sure to turn it often and have some powdered sugar underneath it so it doesn't stick to your surface. So now that your fondant is all rolled out, grab your rolling pin and we're just going to fold it over and roll it up. And then we're just going to carefully roll it over the top of the cake and press it down firmly. You can pull it a little bit, but try not to pull it too much because then it'll start cracking. So just try to push it down and rotate it. So don't worry if your fondant isn't completely flat and it has a bit of bumps in it. Since this is a pumpkin, it's gonna add some texture to it. So now I'm gonna paint the details with the paintbrush, a uh, synthetic paintbrush, and I put a little bit of vodka in here with a little bit of red food coloring and brown food coloring. So we're going to do the details of the pumpkin, and I'm gonna start with the brown. So we're going to do brown to all four corners. I've also cut out some eyes and the mouth with yellow fondant and I'm gonna place them on the face just so I don't accidentally paint over it. So I'm gonna use frosting to kind of act as the glue. I added a Tootsie Roll cut in half for the top stem and then you should have yourself a Minecraft jack-o'-lantern cake. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's a pumpkin and none of them grow the same. So I hope you guys enjoy this and have fun with it. Try it out yourself. If you do, tweet me a picture at iHaskupWeek because I'd love to see what you guys create. Also, leave a comment below on what you guys want me to make for next week's episode. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Cupwick.